Hello everyone, so like you, I have been playing Far Harbor all day, however, I actually managed to summon some willpower and pull myself away to actually give, make you guys a video which I wanted to make. Before we obviously get into kind of going a bit deeper into Far Harbor in later videos, obviously there are new settlements added and I want to kind of obviously make kind of quite funky builds with the new items that you've been added. I wanted to just give a quite a quick overview on exactly what's been added to um, the game in terms of settlement building this time around. Now obviously I have whipped up a rather swift barn for you. Um, before I kind of go individually through the tabs, it's it's really cool. Um, it's not as... there were a few... I don't want to spoil anything in terms of I know some of you don't like to actually know what might be coming in future DLC. A few of you don't. Um, but there were other items which were dug up, which we thought we were getting in this DLC. Um, and it turns out that it looks like we're getting it in the next one. Um, however, what we have been added is very, very cool. Um, this is what I think of it as a very utility tab, especially on the barns. Uh, with the fact is that it's quite complex to use. And obviously, you know, the main intention is to actually make barns like this however there is a lot of functionality beyond the barns which is going to be quite exciting also to add as well like the concrete it's a lot more complex to use than just wood or steel i have a sneaking suspicion conveniently for bethesda at least they seem to have made it so they deliberately released wood and steel first and then did concrete and barns afterwards because wood and steel are very simple to use and it might be a little bit overwhelming if they just released everything at once. Obviously that might be their justification, weak though it is, still it is a little bit complex. Oh, there's just a lot of shit to work with basically. So let's just run straight into it. So we've got the prefabs tab as per, um, I'm in Abernathy by the way because I figured they would need a barn. You're not really going to find any flat ground to pop this down, so I'm going to put it down there so you can see it. It's pretty cool. Um, I do. I would have kind of liked kind of a few weirder prefabs. Um, but I guess maybe with this, one, it's actually a good to think they haven't given us prefab items that have parts of them that physically we can't get anywhere else. Like like the steel tab has got that. This one here. I'm glad they didn't do shit like this here. We've got that metal end piece that basically would be absolutely essential for our builds. Yet it's only in this one fucking metal shack. Anywho, my ramble aside. So basically we've got the barns here. Now in terms of the rest of the prefab stuff, to quickly go over it, it's literally just what you can make. But it just allows you to, I guess if you're really worried about the settlement size, you know, you can obviously plop this down and have a have a good time. Um, I obviously don't worry about the settlement size for shit. However, it could speed things along. So let's actually get into the actual tab tab. So obviously it's got things like, you know, the concrete foundation, well, the, the wood barn foundation, but it's made out of stone, which has got a kind of a nice pattern to it as well. Um, we've got the, the typical square floors, and then we've got the mesh version of it. What's exciting is these parts here, because these are going to make very, obviously, the intent for these initially is for actually to be used as, you know, upper floors on the inside of barns. Here, there, here, there, around the edges, all that jazz. However, as I've shown you before when I've made my settlements, well, especially when I did um, green top with making kind of bridges that go across the ground, these are going to be quite cool because they're quite, they're a little, they're, they're one, they're two squares as opposed to one. What you can do, don't you dare start talking to me, Carla. I can't be asked to talk to you today because you piss me off. Is you can grab your wee concrete rule here or whatever the hell you like, whatever turns you on grab whatever turns you on yep and you can basically sink it to the ground and make obviously abernathy is a complete clusterfuck but you know you can sink this nice and close to the ground and have nice little kind of platforms it's gonna be good for like little bridges um you're gonna see me using those utilizing them a little bit more but let's get on to showing you what rather than rabbiting away so you've got quite a different lot of themes for these there's gonna be a lot a lot of utility here now to the walls. The walls is where it demonstrates how complex it is. I'm going to quickly go through. So you've got normal walls in various damage. Doors with damage. Windows with various damage. Half walls. Windows. Walls with smaller windows. Walls with damage. More damage. Half one. These are actually for this. So you've got one there. And you got one there. They're a little bit not confusing at first, but you have to kind of think for two seconds to figure out. Okay, what are those for? Because I didn't really get them initially. Um, 
I think this is that, if you don't want the beam at the top. I think. I'm not actually too sure, I haven't tried it yet. This is another half wall. Uh, if you're wondering what the half walls are for, it's for shit like this. So you can actually have, you know, kind of half... So you basically you could actually build roofs. And I'll get on to how awesome the roofs are in a second. The wall ends for actually adding angled bits for your roofs. Um, this is where it gets confusing. I haven't... Obviously, I know what these do. You can just snap them on the outside like this. It's all fun. But I'm trying to think of a good way. You could make a big barn plane or something. Um, an interesting way to actually use those. And we've got a thinner version as well. Now... One of the best parts of this tab, there are various awesome parts, this is where it gets cool, well not you, but you are where it gets fucking awesome. Now obviously the roofs, various pieces of roof, what these are amazing for is this tab is not limited right here to the barn tab. We finally have roofs which can actually make actual roofs, rather than the absolute shambles that we had before with this I mean, it's not that these are bad obviously these still definitely always will have a use but you can't have corners you can't make them very big they're just kind of quite flat we can actually you know you can build a wooden concrete steel house and you can actually make an actual roof which is awesome it's just that little bit of utility that we haven't had and obviously they don't just have you know the big ones you obviously have these smaller ones as well and you can see they've actually added quite a lot of pieces to make it so you can really make any shape that you like Still trying to figure out a use for these, I'm not going to lie. Like, they kind of snap a little weird. I haven't really figured this one out yet. I think they work inside. I think they connect to the roofs. Just trying to... On the plus side, they seem to connect to the ground, which is quite weird. So I think maybe this is... Look, I don't get it yet. They're for something. <laughs> um, I think they're meant to be connected to something. The, the potential there, and these ones down here, actually. Even though these are obviously for roofs, you can sink this one into the ground. So obviously they can make quite funky platforms as well, so that'd be cool, but Davey will get on to that when he makes his guide. And obviously we finally have a steeple now initially for the barns, but you can see this going on the Church of Todd. We also have another one of these in the tab over here, which actually goes on the top of the roof. Right, now we have the greatest stairs in the world, um, in the world of history of games. The reason being is these are thin, but they're like the metal ones, so they look actually like stairs, however... Unlike the concrete ones, rather, they're not massively cumbersome. They're also a little bit longer. So you finally have nice, secure-looking stairs with railings so that it doesn't, you can't, you know, freaking fall off. A bit longer, which is great, but also don't feel like they're taking up a lot of space. As you can see here, they're not cumbersome like all of the other stairs or crappy-looking like the wooding ones. So that's pretty cool got the doors, that's pretty boring to be honest, it's various doors, big doors. I guess we can make some pretty funky gatehouses with these, it's an idea of mine. And then the misc tab, ruined it already, but basically we've got posts. Fucking finally, we have posts that we can put any toe we like, sink into the ground, aren't the massive concrete pillars, which are still glorious for glitching, and also they're very, not very resource intensive, however these will be absolutely grand for finally supporting any structure, I have literally been pounding the ground with these evidently, but also very, very excited and wanting these for ages. Again, utility tab. Outhouses! Yay! We finally have places for our settlers to poop. And if you feel like being an asshole, you've got ones with holes in it, and then you've got that one, and then you've got this one, and then you've got obviously various actual things, and you can then that'd be a prick, you can have one we basically if just that's Marcy's basically so we're on actually no make make Marcy's closed up no one wants to see that woman taking a shit but that's cool we finally have somewhere to poop exciting stuff um actually really cool it just adds a little bit more kind of law friendly and then that's the, the thing right so we've got a couple of decorations as well a little bits in here I believe no I always go to this tab it's this one in the furniture section this down here so I'm going to go through these really quick, um, not all of them because I'm running out of materials. And by the way, those barns are massively wood intensive. There's a very maritime vibe to all this, which means some of these things are going to look silly outside of Far Harbour. 
but you're always going to find a use. But these are quite nice, and we can definitely use them. Like, the barns, you probably noticed already, have a very, very funky look for workshops. That's what I've deliberately done here, just a very quick one. You know, for growing drugs, for anything, really. But So this will definitely add a lot of texture to it and detail, but it is a very niche stuff in terms of actually... Some of it might look a little bit silly outside of anywhere that's not on the coast. But it's not a bad thing, it's just something to note. Then the decorations tab, we've added a few more crafty decorations. If I just keep going along, we've got our Vim machine, which is basically Farber's Coke, Nuka Cola rather, which I won't lie, I've not actually managed to find any yet, but it's a nice alternative to the Nuka Cola machine, which is cool, adds a bit of splash of colour as well, which is grand. Then these are cool. I like these. Oh, I'll place them down because I'm low on resources. But we've got the crates and the barrels. Those look really nice. We've also got these fish baskets and a lobster crate. Very nice. And this one down here, which is a bigger one. They're pretty cool. I like those. These are good as well. Wow. Tannery hides. Um, some people have suggested before. A nice little hunting lodge. I'll definitely do be build of that. Which is grand. And these look cool if you really want to kind of... Especially if you survival playthroughs where you want something that looks a little bit more survivally that's that's the technical phrase by the way just just put out there and the grill because we love grills grills are grand it's actually quite a nice little grill that it's less retro looking than i guess the the one we've had before so right let's swiftly go back to decorations and then finally we've got these Five signs, so lobster roll, gun shop, ice cream, toss challenge, giggity, and prizes for your toss challenge. Toss challenge. Uh -huh. British people laugh, some Americans will as well, possibly the Aussies. Um, anywho, they're cool, you know, obviously very kind of focused on actually Far Harbour and, you know, what the environment is there. But it's nice to have some more stuff. The ice cream and the gun shop is good and your toss challenge if you're feeling a bit kinky. Um... So no more signs. And then we finally we've got these. I don't know to place these up. But basically these are very colourful. And I can imagine having great fun with these. But my initial th reaction was. They look cool. Wow they're really really niche. But they are very very cool. A quick note on them though. Is they are an absolute knob head. They don't hang like say these bulbs here. That's why I pop these bulbs up. Which can hang under things. They actually kind of do. But they're actually for sticking on walls. But they look like they should actually hang off like ceilings and things they could sometimes do it but it's bear in mind but we've got lots of these hanging boys if i know my maritime and i really don't really i believe these are for like weighing down nets or like floating nets but don't hold me to that because i live in london and the closest thing to the sea we have is the thames which is kind of more of a sewer really it's a nice healthy browny green color Anyway, that is all of the items to my knowledge. We might... I haven't finished the DLC yet, so there might be some new stuff that we collect upon the way. However, those are the new things that you effectively begin with. I don't know if we've got new stuff or not in terms of crafting. I imagine there might be one or two more things. Possibly might have guessed them already, or I think I have during my few hours of playing. Right, guys, so I'm going to do... um possibly not a video tomorrow because i want to see if i can finish far harbor um and then actually get on to kind of building up a settlement but we'll see um hopefully you guys think of some cool stuff i'm gonna do some building videos on this if you do think of anything cool or any kind of ideas for what we can make are these let me know in the comments or on twitter um because that'd be really cool or any kind of builds that you make ping me a twitter video or a twitter pic you can follow me at no respawns i'll be twitch streaming on the weekend absolutely no idea what but probably sunday don't know what time a video will go up on youtube that's 30 seconds long telling you i'm live all right i'll speak to your lovely people soon take care